Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about winter sowing. I'm going to explain to you how do you do that and why you would do it. And it's for cool weather crops. However, the video that you're going to see was just made for my other YouTube channel, My First Vegetable Garden. That's a channel geared to brand new gardeners. I go into a lot more details and I really explain the different principles for gardening. If you're new, you want to check out that channel, the link is in the video description. Here on the Rusted Garden, I could probably do this video in four or five minutes. I'd like to do things more quickly on this channel so that you can get the information you need, get out into your garden. But here's a video on winter sowing, how you do it, why you do it, and what's the best way to really grow your seed starts in a milk container. Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today I want to explain the pretty simple concept of winter sowing and it's exactly what it sounds like. You sow your seeds in the winter. However, seeds need warmth to germinate. So if we go out into our garden now, it's February 3rd here in Maryland, I put seeds in. They're not going to germinate. They're going to just sit there for weeks and weeks and weeks until the warm weather comes. You can winter sow in a simple milk container. I'll show you how to do that. And the reason you do it is maybe you don't have grow lights indoors. You want to start some of your cool weather crops. You can just start them in here, put them outside. This warms up a little bit quicker and more often than the ground soil. So they germinate more quickly on here as the temperatures begin to rise. You're going to grow your plants in here till they're about maybe this tall. You're going to use them as transplants. You take out the plants, kind of, you know, divide them gently, put them out into the ground. You get a jump to the season, you don't need grow lights. So to set it up, a lot of times people use milk containers. This is a one gallon milk container, and you're just gonna cut around about midway and leave a little bit of a flap on there so that this doesn't blow off, we're gonna tape it down. You also wanna put a hole in there. A lot of people put holes in the bottom. I like to put one here because it's gonna hold a little bit of water, and it's possible when it's cool out, when it's cold out, there's not a lot of evaporation, but I'd like to have a little reservoir of water that sits in the bottom. That's not gonna hurt your germinating seeds up here. And when you're big enough and have roots down here, they'll appreciate a little bit of extra water. So I just put a good size hole in right there. Because this is being done outside, you don't need to sterilize the starting mix. You don't need to use you know, seed starting mix itself. That's a little bit more expensive. That's what I'm gonna use now because I, I am inside you know, doing the video, but this will go outside. So you can use any potting mix, compost mix that you have out in your garden, anything that's been sitting out there. You're not worried about insects or problems or anything like that. They're not gonna hatch or really do their thing because it's cold outside. As it begins to get warmer, if some problems occur in the soil, nature tends to take care of it. You want a nice, firm starting base. As you're moving these around, you don't want this to be so loose that the seeds are you know, falling deeper than you want them to be. And just kind of press everything in. You want the mix to be moist. And you want to put in a dilute amount. These are the seeds we're going to use. A diluted amount of fertilizer in here. What do I mean by that? This is one gallon. So if you use the chemical type fertilizers, use them at quarter strength. You want it to be dilute. You don't want to over fertilize this. If you're using the organic water solubles, Use them a little bit less than the regular dosing, whatever it says on the bottle. And the key here is water soluble. That means the N, P, and K and all the nutrients are going to be available to your plants right away. So this is where you would just really moisten your soil. And this is all you're going to have to do. You're not going to need to water this all the time. You leave the lid off on top, let rainwater get in there. Because again, it's cold. This is not going to really evaporate. You know, as spring, as you get into the middle of spring or beginning of spring, maybe the plants are a little bit bigger, keep an eye on them. But at this point, you don't need to worry about it. Watering isn't going to be an issue. So I like to mark February 3rd. Now you could just do all kale in here. You could do all collards, just spinach, just lettuce. You could, you could do broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, just one variety. Um, that says onions, that mess right there, or just onions. Leeks too, any cool weather crop. The seeds can take the freeze and frost, and sometimes they germinate better when they get this cold period, but they can handle the frost. The plants can handle the frost, even if they germinate and grow a little bit. So it's only the cool weather crops. I'll talk about the warm weather crops in another video. You could technically do the same thing this way. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to put more than one variety in here, because remember, if I sprinkle in 
15 or 20 kale seeds, I don't need 20 kale plants. So the question is, is how many plants do you really want? So this is kale. I'm going to take, I don't know, that's six seeds, seven, eight, nine, about nine or ten seeds. And I'm putting in more than I want because I want them to germinate. You don't want to just put in one seed. And I am just sprinkling them right down this line here. And then let's do another line. I'm going to put some lettuce seeds, again, about ten. They come out here. Hold on. There we go. About 10 seeds. They probably all won't germinate, but I'm hoping to get, you know, four or five good plants. If I want a lot of lettuce, then I would do multiple milk jugs, and I just sprinkled them right down on the surface there. I would do multiple milk jugs and just do more. And then these are onion seeds. Onion seeds, I like to overseed because these are really wiry roots, and I can pull them apart. They're almost indestructible, and I'm going to put a whole lot, a whole bunch, right down this side. And again, you can have multiple containers, you could just do one variety, but you want them to all be really the cool weather crops. So, so once the seeds are down, I'm just going to mix the onions into the top quarter inch, same thing with the lettuce, same thing with the kale. And remember, we did multiple seeds, press everything in. If you want, you could sprinkle a little more of your mix, your potting mix, your starting mix across the top. And that sets them up for winter sowing. They can go out now when you're still getting frosts at night, freezes at night, when it's cold during the day. It can be Night temperatures can get into the 20s, even lower. You just don't need to put it out that soon. If you're still getting really 20 degree nights regularly, freezing days, you could do this, but kind of wait till it's less, it's less frequent. In theory, you could put these out late fall when it's too cold for them to germinate and they'll be fine. But you just don't have to rush these out. You still have plenty of time. The next step is just to tape it shut. You're going to set it up. You can use a couple pieces of tape. You want the lid to stay on it. That helps keep some of the warmth in. The sun will be hitting this, warming this up, and that's why everything germinates more quickly in here because you do have the plastic over it, creates some heat, seeds so germinate quicker. And you just let this sit outside. You know, maybe a second piece of tape if you want. Leave the lid off so the rain gets in there. I like cutting this all the way around so that if it rains, water is dripping into there. So again, watering is not really an issue. This could sit on snow. Put it into a more sunny area. You don't want this to be in a shadier area. Put it where it's getting a lot of sun. They'll germinate more quickly. This is the easiest way to winter sow. Please follow me here on my first vegetable garden. I will be going over in detail different techniques for gardening and hopefully I help give you some education. You can get out into the garden, have a lot of fun, and be successful at growing food. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Again, please subscribe. I'll teach you how to do just about everything you need to do to have a successful vegetable garden. Thanks for watching.